Hello Madridistas and thanks for joining us on today's exciting episode of Madrid My DNA. On the top of today's report, Real Madrid have reportedly approached the entourage of teenage Barcelona target Ivan Frandesca who plays for Real Valladolid in La Liga. But before we move deep into today's agenda, please do well to like and subscribe Follow this page so you don't miss on our next videos. Despite reports suggesting Real Madrid transfer business for the summer might have been wrapped up after the arrival of Joselu, the club went out and signed Adal Goulet from Fenerbahce, beating FC Barcelona to this capture. The transfer business might still not be done as Kylian Mbappe continues to remain on the agenda. And now another name seems to have been added to the list as journalist Adrian Sanchez claimed that Real Madrid entourage have made an approach to the entourage of Real Valladolid right back Ivan Frandesca, who interestingly is also a target for FC Barcelona. Real Madrid have Daniel Carvajal and Lucas Vasquez as their options for the right back slot with Nacho Fernandez also an option. Alvaro Odrezola is also available at Carlo Ancelotti's disposal, although he is on his way out, with talks ongoing with Real Sociedad over a transfer. Considering that both Carvajal and Vasquez are in their 30s and Nacho is not a natural right back, it makes sense for Real Madrid to start preparing for the future and someone like Frandesca will be a good fit given his age and potential. The 18 years old enjoyed an impressive 2022-23 campaign with his performance against Vinicius Junior particularly catching the eye. FC Barcelona have been making moves for Frandesca who has a release clause of 20 million euros in his current contract. But Real Madrid too appear to have taken an interest in the 18-year-old Spaniard and have made contact with his entourage to discuss the possibility of a transfer. Only time will tell if the approach from the Spanish capital club turns into anything concrete if in the coming days uh, or not. Moving on on today's episode, reports claim that Manchester City made an approach to sign a powerful 24-year-old Real Madrid midfielder Federico Valverde this, earlier this summer. Manchester City reportedly made an approach to sign Real Madrid midfielder over a potential transfer move for Federico Valverde earlier in the summer. So far in this transfer window, the Manchester club have bought Matteo Kovacic from Chelsea on a four-year deal worth £30 million. Now some behind-the-scenes details have emerged regarding another player the citizens have reportedly had on their interest list. According to a recent report from 90 Minutes, City as well as Liverpool and Chelsea Bayern Munich and Paris Saint-Germain had made inquiries for Federico Valverde earlier in current transfer windows. The report also adds that Real Madrid were quick to dismiss these inquiries as they have no intentions of letting the player leave the club this summer. Having joined the Spanish club youth rank back in 2016, the 24-year-old made his senior debut back in 2018 and has gone on to make 204 appearances for them across all competitions, scoring 18 goals and providing 15 assists during along the way. Described as a powerful player by Joe Cole, Federico Valverde featured in all but five of Real Madrid matches across all competitions last season, highlighting how significant he is for the team. It also makes it easy to see why the Spanish club have no apparent intentions of letting him leave this summer. 
with that in mind, it feels that it wouldn't be worth City trying to change Real Madrid's mind about letting their Uruguayan star leave the Santiago Bernabeu anytime soon. Moving forward, if the citizens are looking to add a new midfielder to their ranks before the summer transfer windows closes, it's safe to say that they may have to cross Valverde off their list and look elsewhere as he is considered an untouchable player at the Santiago Bernabeu. So that'll be all for today's exciting episode guys. Thank you for watching right up to the end. Do all to like and subscribe. Follow this page so you don't miss on our next videos. See you next time and a big Hala Madrid to us all.